Okay, folks, listen, welcome to week one of a five-part series. Listen, this series is called Get Your Grill On. And guess what? It's in partnership with Walmart. So what we're doing is we're saying goodbye to the winter, hello, spring, and summer, and we finna get it, folks. And today, we're kicking it off with a charbroiled springtime burger. And check this out. We're gonna have a creamy coleslaw side. All right, listen, I want you guys to come on here. I'm gonna tilt this down so you guys can see it, right? Obviously, I'm using the chimney. I put my charcoals in there. Listen, love to use Kingsford. Listen, they burn, they do everything right. And you see that right there? See them starting to turn white? And you can see the heat? That's, that's what we're looking for. Now, I'm gonna set this off to the side. I put this down here on the concrete. And now, I'm gonna add some charcoal to one side. Now, if you guys come and take a look, what I'm doing is I'm pushing all of the charcoal to one side, right? Reason being, if we can get an imaginary line and we put a line right here, this right here is what we call the direct side. It's directly under the heat. That's where we get our char from and our direct heat. Everything on this side, when you see it on this side, that way you don't burn it and it's indirect. Now you're starting to cook with the flavors of the charcoal using the kettle grill and it'll be just like using the oven, right? So let's put this back on. So we take our lit coals and what we do is we just put these right on top and this right here be the fire to get the other ones going. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off by making, you know, this creamy, this creamy coleslaw, right? Cause listen, I wanna make it, put it in my bowl, put my top on, put this in the refrigerator and let it chill, right? So let me tell you, uh, you know what Walmart is doing. Listen, the purpose of this little five, you know, part series is to inspire you guys, you know? To inspire you get you ready for the grilling season and that's why i teamed up with walmart all right so what i'm getting ready to do is start you know cutting down you know my cabbage right when i cut it down i'm gonna cut it in these little thin little slices like this it's almost like shredding lettuce almost you know and speaking of that let's look at some of these ingredients that we'll be using right you can see that i got a few ingredients out here listen the full ingredient list will be on walmart's website it'll be down in the description box below but i do want to highlight like a, some key ingredients right here right so i want you guys to take a look look this is hellman's a lot of you guys know about the hellman's that's everybody talks to me about it and check this out this is the vegan version of it it's not just a dressing it's a spread too i'll be using this to put on the buns and we're going to toast with that folks and not only am i going to use it to toast my buns but it's the main ingredient you know what I mean? For my coleslaw. You guys gonna like this. Now, if you look, I had a small little uh, head of uh, cabbage. You know what I mean? We don't need to make a whole lot of it. It depends on how big your party is, right? So I'm gonna just start adding this here. And I cut it all different sizes, as you guys can see. All right, and then we do the same thing. We just cut it, you know, like this. Now you don't need a whole lot of red, you know, cabbage. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys, you know? So some of you guys might want to, you know, I see it like this. You know what I mean? I just give it a little chop like that and then I mix it in. You guys notice it always has a, you know, a little bit of red in it, right? So we do it like this, we mix it. I want you guys to come on in here and take a look. Look, look at that. We haven't even hit it with the dressing yet. It's screaming, it's, it's asking me right now, calling it by name, where is the helmets? All right, and then last, you know, we gotta put some carrots in there, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and, I've already washed and cleaned this up, right? So now we are gonna go ahead and clean this skin off the back. You know, I'll clean up that in just one second. But now I want you guys to think everything that I talked about, we got to talk about the, the main meat, the protein, right? And that brings me to this. Here it is right here. Look at this. That's that Beyond Burger. That and the Montreal steak seasoning from McCormick's is what's gonna give it the flavor. You know what I mean? Uh, listen, and we are gonna infuse it, you know, use, doing it on a grill. I don't wanna like spoil it or nothing like that. You guys gotta check it out. You know what I mean? So. Let's get this ready, move this off to the side. Now I'm gonna cut me a few, you know, sli slivers of this, put this in my coleslaw, and then we finna go over these ingredients and we finna prep. And we are gonna infuse it with the king for charcoal. You know what I mean? Listen, that right there is the base flavor. When you get that smokiness, it comes from that grill, you can't beat it. And that whole combination of everything that we are using. Mm. Now, as I run my pillar across this, you know what I mean? Look, when you get a few, it's up to you. You can cut them and make them like matchsticks. I don't do that. I use matchsticks when I'm cooking, right? But for the outside and especially when I'm doing a, uh, a coleslaw, I just get them like this, right? And I just cut them just a certain kind of way, just so they're not so long. And then you put this in there and you let your eyes do the visual for you. You know what I mean? We all had coleslaw, we know, you know, so it's up to you how much you, carrot you want to get in there. But this right here, look at this. That look good to me. And we tie this all together. And now we're gonna take this 
red onion, and we're just gonna, I'm gonna probably take half of this, right? And then we'll just finely chop it. All right, and then what we wanna do is we just wanna cut it. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, you guys cut this how you wanna do it, right? I like to just cut myself some thin slices, you know, like this. All right, when I take them like this, all right, you can break them. Just add just a little bit of onion to it. Now, listen, for those of you guys that really like trying to learn and you, you know, things like might make you a little nervous, the grilling might do that to some of you guys, right? So listen, you notice I got these bowls. These bowls make it so easy. So I take my measurements, you know what I mean? And I put, one, put them in these bowls just like this, and then I separate them. So as I need them, they group together, right? So we're gonna do it just like this. Celery seed. Over here, we got Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, and a little sugar, right? I'm gonna give this just a little mix and get this incorporated, you know what I mean? And then check it out. I'll show you. So once you got everything whisked together and it's incorporated nicely, now's the time for the spread, right? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna just put about a half a cup. I suggest you guys measure. I've just been doing this for a minute, you know what I mean? So I sort of like, you know, have a, like an idea of what a half a cup looks like, right? So I'll do this right here so you guys can see it. Look at that right there. And then I think I mentioned in the very beginning that it's creamy, right? So if I did and we take it like this, is this the definition of creamy? This right here is good. And I'm big on, if you know who I am and you know how I teach, I tell everybody, you got to taste as you go. This right here is fire. Now, I'm going to set this over here. We're going to bring this back into play. Now, you see that I got the, uh, the onions on top, right? I get in here and it's okay. I got gloves on. I like to get in here and work with my hands, right? You put as much onion in there as you would like to. You know what I mean? If you want to do a whole onion, do it. You want to do the whole, the complete half, do that too. But I can tell you, this blend right here is going to be nice. Now, I'm getting ready to take this, and we're getting ready to just add this over here just like that. I like to do everything in increments, folks. You know what I mean? That way I don't get too much on it or nothing like that. Right? So, we just start getting everything coated. Oh, yeah. You can hear it, too. I'm using this tin. You know, this tin bowl, once it starts getting coated, it gets soft when it hits up against the side. Mm. Can you guys tell that I like doing what I'm doing? All right, so we're gonna add a little bit more to it. All right, so biggest thing I can tell everybody, I gotta keep, I can say things and I'll probably, you know, go over it a lot, but listen, we gotta taste in stages. This is how come when I put something out, and you will, you'll put something out, you didn't taste it in, the, uh, you know, each individual stage, and you didn't season, came back, added more, and that way you can put out a 100% success story, right? So, boom. Now, only thing we can do is fresh uh, cracked black pepper. Okay, so we're gonna do it like this, folks. Listen, two pinches of kosher salt, and I'm gonna start with one. That's all we need right now. Just everything that I have has just been, you know, perfect. The blend, when I was tasting it, we just put the, you know, fresh cracked black pepper in here. Now we just mix this. Hey, let me ask you this. Did I mention that this is a creamy, you know, is this a creamy coleslaw? Okay, folks, so look, I want you to come in here and take a look. I'm gonna run this across around the edge just to clean it up so it look pretty for you. You know what I mean? But look at that right there. That is a creamy coleslaw, right? Not overdoing it on the, on the dressing or nothing like that. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna put my top on the top. You gotta love these bowls like this. Got their own top. We don't have to transfer dirty up, nothing else. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator. I recommend going at least 30 minutes, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator for as long as it takes me to get all of my, uh, my burgers ready and get that going. Okay, folks, listen. Hey, look, check this out. I want you guys to listen. I really hope the mic is picking up these birds. That'll tell you, listen, it's truly springtime, and you know what that means, it's time to get on these grills. Now we're gonna talk about this beyond burger meat, right? Now listen, I'm a griller, I'm used to, you know, always using, you know, like the major proteins, beef, you know, we do the pork and things like that, right? But this right here has more protein, I bet you didn't know that, than 80-20 beef. Now, this is derived from peas, brown rice, lentils, and fava beans. I'm gonna say it like that. You guys let me know, you know, do you know what I mean when I say fava beans? All right, so listen, this is a great combination. You know, it gets away from that uh, red meat. Very, very, very good, right? Okay, so what I wanna do now is I just wanna take them out. We're gonna put these right here, right? Now we wanna season. Let me go ahead and clean my hands. 
And again, what we're gonna be using is our McCormick's, right? From the Grill Mate series. Listen, this is the Montreal steak seasoning. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on here just like this. And then when I season, I do everything a little bit generously. You know what I mean? Because we want it to taste, you know, good. That's what we want to do. We just let this sit on here for a minute. Now we're finna go over here and go to the grill, right? Because I'm gonna give you guys a couple of pro tips. Okay, before I get to that pro tip, I just want to show you something right now. Using this grill right here, listen, I've been working with this for years. I know how to vent it, right? And when I do burgers, I really like to do them between 350 and 400 degrees. And I use a lot of direct, right? So if you come on in right now, you can see right now, it's just like slightly under that. I almost got my vents closed in the back back here. You know what I mean? But that's for another time, right? So here's a little pro tip. I'm going to take some olive oil, right? Pour a little on my napkin. I'm using tongs, keeping my hands away. And what I'm doing now is I'm wiping my grates. What I'm doing is I'm trying to create a non-stick surface, right? Just a little bit of a pro tip. Now we're finna open this up. Now, remember I said when I do burgers, I like to do it a little bit on the, on the direct side, right? So I'm gonna drop these right here, right? Peel my paper off. All right, we'll get this other one next to it, right? Then we come with our seasoning on this side to let it soak in, right? Trust me, folks. It's okay to put it on here liberally. You know what I mean? Uh, that's what you want. Now I take my tongs and I take them and I move them over here on the direct side, right? We want to get some of that real heat, you know, to get these burgers cooking. Now it's not going to take long, right? I'm not going to close the lid or nothing like that. We're going to go ahead and leave them just like this. Now we're getting ready to make that burger sauce. All right, so now for the sauce, folks. This is where you want to tie everything in, right? So we're going to put about a half a cup, you know, of our dressing in here, right? Okay, so earlier I talked about having everything measured out and put in bowls, right? So the remainder of your ingredients that you have all right here, as you can see, all of that goes into making this sauce, right? So we just add it. Now we're gonna go ahead and use that term that everybody like to, cause it's super simple. It's called dump and go. Go ahead and whisk, right? Look at the cover right there. Look at that right there. Oh yeah. Remember we say taste as we go. I give you guys the general measurements, you know what I mean? Some of you guys might want to put a little bit more sweet relish. And then you know what? Some of you guys might want to use deal, deal. But whatever it is, this is when you make your, you know, your choice, you make your decisions, and then you level it up to do your thing. But you see this right here? Oh yeah. So I mentioned earlier about toasting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna start adding a little bit of the dressing on here. Right, this works with the dressing also, folks. You guys gotta just trust me. If you don't know nothing about it, please try it. Then talk to me down in the comment section below. Anywhere you can leave a comment, you let me know. What did you think about toasting your bun instead of using uh, butter? We're using this dressing. Okay, so I want you to pay attention. You see these right here? These is ready. So I'm gonna bring them over here to my indirect side, right? So they'll at least stay warm. All right, add my buns my tops now we'll let them get a little grill marks on them turn these over here like this and just run them over the direct side just a little bit all right so now we about to put that spread on you know what i mean look at this right here crispy edges on there and i'm gonna say this listen if you ain't getting a, making a mess when you eating a burger what are you doing you know what I mean? So we're gonna put this on here like that. Now you guys make your burger however you want to. You know what I mean? Some put lettuce down, blah, blah, blah. I always put my dressing down first. You know what I mean? My burger sauce. That's it right there. You see that right there? We got tomato, then we got lettuce, right? So if I start taking some of this lettuce, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Cause listen, I gotta make a lot of these. So we just cut this off like this. Drop that over there. And now I'll just start pulling this top layer off, right? There we go, you wanna get some nice healthy pieces like this. So we kept them over here on this side, right? On the indirect side so they at least stay warm. Now, if you guys wanted to add cheese, you can, but I wanna tell you, listen, you gotta trust the Kingsford, you know, the original, right? The original briquette. 
this right here is fire i can tell you listen it keeps up you know they 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 reliable and the taste that you get is listen has stood the test of time right so now i'm getting ready to come here now we'll just go ahead and do it just like this oh yeah bun just right let me go ahead and get this other one all right so now we're gonna go ahead and put a slice of tomato on here put another one over here on this side right then we're gonna come with this latest lettuce right so i'm gonna try to find me a couple little slices right here that are to my liking you know what i mean uh, one thing i like about lettuce you know what i mean no matter how it look you just stack it on there you know what i mean and you go from there So listen, got me a little ramek in here. You remember this? Took this just out of the refrigerator. Now I know y'all, look at that right there. Now you get to see it where it's not just all stuffed inside of the, you know, this bowl, right? But that there, mm, mm, mm. Now you tell me, would you like to try this? All right, folks, ain't nothing left to do but to taste it, right? And I can tell you, I taste as I went, right? So I'm telling you, the burger sauce was great. You know what I mean? I know the seasoning was good. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and need to take this one right here. This is the one I'm gonna take all the pictures of and make it a star. You know what I mean? So listen, I'm gonna just do it like this, folks. Cheers. I, I'm at a loss of words. You guys gotta trust me. So now, let's go ahead and get out with this right here. I know this is right. Seem to keep wanting to get a lot of carrot. <laughs> Cheers, y'all. Mm. That dressing is everything. Hey, listen, you want to talk about being authentic? You see the size of this right here? I'm knocking it down. Now, don't forget, this is week one of a five-part series. Get your grill on. Listen, this is brought to you by Walmart. You know, they're getting this all ready for Memorial Day. And you know what? We're going to bring in the spring and the summertime. We're going to bring it in with a blast. Now, if you guys want these unique flavors, now look, I don't really want to say unique because I can tell you this. I mean, I'm being honest with you. Listen, if you cook it the way I taught you to cook it, and don't forget, everything is ready at 165. Everything is still the same as what we know. Go to Get Your Grill On page on walmart.com to get your recipes and ingredients for each week of the series. And with that being said, I'm about to scarf this down. I got to get back here on this grill and make something for everybody else out there. And guess what, folks? I'm out. Peace.